All right, this is John Cola with OKRaw.com. Today we have another exciting episode for him here all the way in Katy, Texas. It's outside Houston, if you don't know where Katy's at. And uh, the reason why I'm here today is because I'm going to do a raw food restaurant review. Probably scratching your head right now. John, wait a second, how are you doing a raw food restaurant review if you're at the Family Dollar? Which is kind of like a dollar store that I actually don't particularly care for anyways. Well, that's because I'm not going to be eating at the Family Dollar. I'm going to be eating at a place parked in the Family Dollar parking lot here on Mason Road in Katy. So let's spin around and show you guys what's up. So today I'm going to be reviewing this restaurant right here. It's this, or actually more specifically food truck. This is a raw chef Rene. And it's a vegan living, raw living foods. And it's being pulled by her uh, car. <laughs> So uh, this is a quite unique and interesting uh, raw food food truck. I don't think I ever ate out of a raw food truck, especially one like this that looks like it's uh, maybe a little bit out the 70s. But don't worry, I've checked her uh, certificates and her certifications. She's fully certified. She gets recertified every year by the health department uh, for her food truck, as well as she has certifications for her, you know, uh, preparation and uh, you know uh, all the food safety stuff as well and she's uh, has a you know business license so she's totally legit so don't worry so anyways uh, how I learned about raw chef Renee is actually on a uh, on Google I googled like raw food Houston and uh, hers was one of the places that came up I did another review that I'll post down below if I remember um, at the garden kitchen I think uh, and uh, yeah I mean that's another place that you can actually go to and sit down and eat but this is a uh, unique because this is actually right down the street from where we're uh, staying at this trip. And uh, she's basically only open uh, two days a week uh, for pickups. And if you want to come and uh, visit her place and uh, buy stuff on site, the best way to do things is actually to go her, to her website, which is uh, rawveganchefrene.com. You could actually see what she has and you can place your online order on Tuesdays and then you, she'll have it ready for you to pick up on one of the pickup days, which is uh, Fridays and Saturdays. She is located here in Katy uh, part of the day and then she goes into Houston uh, part of the day and then uh, during other days she also does uh, deliveries. So if you live in the area, you're too lazy to make your food, you could order from her. I talked to a person that was just uh, you know buying her stuff for last month and she's loving it because she's a newly turned vegan and uh, you know eating healthy because of Chef Renee. So the food here is served to go or you can actually sit down at a little uh, table here and eat. Let me go ahead and show you guys what's on the menu. Uh, if you uh, just show up and buy something off the menu, if you, once again, if you go online, there's a bigger selection of stuff. This is the raw vegan menu here, and uh, you know, uh, you got different items: lettuce wraps, uh, fajitas, collard wraps, vegan nut tacos, nori rolls, slider burgers, and they're on uh, tomatoes, zucchini pasta with marinara, nachos, veggie pizza. You got smoothies. Donut holes that I'm hearing a lot about, like everybody that comes up that I've seen so far has been getting the donut holes. And then uh, apple crepes and apple cobbler. And so yeah, so uh, we ordered a bunch of stuff already. It took about 20 minutes to make. And uh, what we got today is we got the uh, fajita, we got the vegan nut taco, we got the uh, nachos and the veggie pizza. And so that I like here that she says, you know, clearly, she says 100% living vegan food, and it's uh, made with some organic ingredients. So I talked to her specifically about this, and I appreciate places that don't just say, oh, we're 100% organic, and then they're lying, like some places I've been to in the past. She just, she's honest, she's like, you know, if I could get it organic, it is, and if I can't, I can't. She says sometimes she's 75% organic, like this week, and says, sometimes she says she's 90% organic. She says always on the green, she tries to get organic, and. Uh, you know, she puts sprouts in some of the uh, recipes, and if she can't get the sprouts organic, then she don't even have them. So like I said, you know, are there sprouts in the slider burger? She's like, not this week, because she says she can't get them organic. So that's really cool, and that's really admirable. So one of the cool things here is they got free samples. So I love free samples. And uh, today they got samples of the, uh, oh, the award-winning donut holes right here. And then we got a sample of the marinara. So we're gonna try this. This is the first time I've eaten this food. I think I'll try the marinara first. So basically the marinara is a pretty simple recipe. It's just a, you know, spiralized zucchini with some uh, tomato sauce, but there's many ways to do that. 
Mmm. It's actually quite good. You really taste the tomato. You taste that Italian like seasoning. It's really fresh. It's not like too dehydrated. That's what I like about a lot of raw food places. You know, a lot of them will use a lot of fresh vegetables in their recipes, but some of them use a lot of nuts. So I prefer the place that use a lot more vegetables than nuts. Also, for the restaurants, this helps keep their food costs down since vegetables are a lot cheaper than nuts. All right, so the marinara was pretty good, and now we're gonna go ahead and try this donut hole. The donut hole normally is a lot larger. This is just a sample size, and I guess she sells a lot of these, supposedly. Some people come and will buy 40 at a time. I mean, I know when I was a kid, I used to go down to the local donut shop, and I wouldn't get the donuts. I'd get the donut holes because they were better value. <laughs> we'll see what these taste like compared to what the regular donuts that I remember what they taste like, because I haven't had donuts or donut holes in a long time. They're definitely good. <laughs> and basically, oh, it's got the pineapple in there, the coconut, maybe a little bit of, a little bit of salt. Basically, it's a dried fruit and nut ball with some pizzazz. That's how I describe it. It's definitely better tasting than a Laura bar. <laughs> All right, so the samples were totally delicious. Now we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the food that just came out. All this stuff is to go, and it looks amazing. Now let's see, first we got the pizza. I cannot resist a raw vegan pizza. Like if it's on the menu, generally I gotta get it before I get anything else. And this one, check it out. This pizza, you can't really even see it inside there. We'll show this to you guys later when I'm eating it. But basically I like because it's like mostly all vegetables on top, and hopefully there's a good sauce it's actually the same sauce that I just had on the marinara so I know that's gonna be good already and then uh, also it's on like a dehydrated uh, you know bread or something like that so that definitely looks good that's the pizza uh, this is ten dollars that's a pretty good value next we got coming out the nachos so I've had nachos raw nachos at a lot of different places this one looks like a nice uh, nice size serving here we got some uh, dehydrated chips some uh, some like uh, nut sauce which is like the quote unquote meat, but this is a vegan. <laughs> we got the uh, sour cream, maybe that's made out of some kind of nuts, maybe cashews, of course a little guacamole, and some uh, tomatoes, and some lettuce. So this looks like a nice little uh, item here. If you order in advance, she's gonna have a little label on it for you that discloses all the ingredients, which I really like a lot. And then uh, next we got the fajitas so this is the fajitas look at this I mean these are some nice sized portions I mean I've been to some of them raw food foo foo restaurants in Los Angeles and all this kind of stuff ten dollars you get like a little small portion size I mean I'm weighing this in my hand this is like a good couple pounds of produce right here definitely a good value this is the fajitas this is probably one of the most expensive things on the menu it's like uh, 13 bucks it's mostly like fresh vegetables that have been marinated right and uh, just a uh, Got some guacamole, some uh, cashew cream sauce, and just marinated vegetables, including some, maybe some mushrooms in there. And it like basically, it's like an over glorified salad. And actually, I think this one could be made into a salad format instead of just in a wrap like it is. And the last thing we got is the tacos. So after holding the fajitas in my hand, the tacos, this is a little bit lighter, so you definitely got a better value with the fajitas and they may be actually uh, fairly similar. Looks like they got similar things just laid out a bit different. They got the, the cream sauce in there, the guacamole laid out, tomatoes in there, as well as the nut cheese. So yeah, if you're gonna get one of these, you know, I mean, I haven't tasted them yet, but definitely the fajitas are better value. Oh, and I like how these are plated up in these like checkerboard style, like uh, papers that really make it kind of look really, really cool, right? So before we take the food to go, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little bit more about Chef Renee, who's uh, sitting in there. Normally, this is uh, she works with her daughter, so it's a family-owned business, so it's really good. I like to support family-owned businesses and not these big mega corporations and stuff. And definitely want to encourage you guys to come here before you go to a fast food joint. Although this is not fast food, it's more slow food, so it will take a while. Unless you call it in in advance or order it online, then it's going to be ready for you when you pick it up. Anyway, uh, Renee here got into uh, Raw Living Foods in 2007 because she wanted to get healthier for her kids. And I know that's the reason that many of you guys get into this style diet because it's one of the healthiest ways that you guys could live and eat in my opinion, right? And because uh, she was kind of had some uh, weight challenges like that. So since that time she's lost 85 pounds 
on this diet and living a lot healthier and she was making all this food, taking really good pictures and her kids said like, well mom, why don't you start a business or doing something like this? So then she got certified through Alyssa Cohen to make living in raw foods and in 2010, she started her business doing personal chefing and uh, chefing for different people, including people like Mike Adams and other people in the local area. And then she always wanted to start some kind of restaurant, but man, starting a restaurant could get really expensive. So her husband was watching these shows on the Food Network about having a food truck and how, you know, that's a lot less uh, expensive and more affordable because now you don't got to pay the rent and all this kind of stuff. So then they got a food truck and they made the food truck thing happen. And you know, it's a tough business, you know, it's probably one that I wouldn't want to be in, but she's here dedicated, making the food, serving it to people and creating more awareness about raw lane foods, which I think needs to happen everywhere. And if you guys are, you know, really good chef, make food wherever you live, I would encourage you guys to start a food truck. I mean, look at her, this is her, her food truck here. Anybody could do a food truck like this, get it certified, pull it around with your car, start serving raw foods to people and start educating the public about this, right? And it's, I think it's really great that she's doing this and hopefully when I taste the food in a little bit, it's gonna taste really good. Oh, and the last thing I wanna say about this food truck is you gotta be uh, height challenged, right? Or something like that. Fun size. <laughs> Fun size to be in this food truck because I mean, uh, she's about like maybe five one or something like that and she like, her head almost hits the top of the roof with this food truck. So uh, yeah, otherwise you're gonna have to get the jumbo size model. But anyways, if you want to learn more about uh, Raw Chef Renee, who also gives classes here in the local area, you can visit her website. Once again, it's uh, rawveganchefrenee.com. You gotta just reach out to her by calling her at 281-433-5928, or uh, check her out on Facebook. I'll put all the links down below to her websites and the Facebook, uh, so you guys could uh, learn more about her and learn about her food and order it online, get it for pickup. I guess next, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take our food take it home and we're gonna eat it and we'll share with you guys uh, how I think it was all right so now I'm home and I'm so ready to eat I haven't eaten yet today it's already like 2 30 I had to some coconut water this morning and my parasite herbs since I'm still on my cleanse but anyways uh, this is what we got once again it's the tacos here this is the nachos this is the fajitas and this is the pizza so one of the things I realized on the drive home is that like basically the the nachos the taco and the fajita share similar ingredients such as they all have the same guacamole, they all have the same sour cream sauce, you know, they all have like a similar kind of a nut, uh, you know, meat stuff. So you could probably just get one of them. Um, so that's kind of cool. Let's see, I kind of think once again the fajita is a better deal, but we're going to try each one of them for you guys, let you know what we think. I guess first I'm going to go ahead and try some of the nachos. I love nachos. I'm going to take just a little piece of cracker here, maybe just a little bit of the guacamole and a little bit of the sour cream, and uh, try it. Mmm. That's good. I can't wait to eat the rest of the stuff. I think we'll dig in to maybe like the tacos next. All right, so the nachos are pretty good. I'm tasting in my mouth like, I think it was the chips that actually had the Bragg's liquid aminos, which have a really distinctive flavor. I myself, I don't like Bragg so much. I think probably better to use tamari in that recipe. And if you call ahead or, or place your order in advance, she could actually uh, custom modify, uh, you know, the recipes for you guys. If you guys may be allergic to anything. Anyways, next we're gonna go ahead and try the the taco here. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, take a knife, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut off a piece here. Basically, this is just in a nice large piece of romaine lettuce. And I think we've got a nice piece there. Oh. And here it is, so, whoops. Looks like what we got inside there is uh, basically the, the nut pate. And we got the uh, tomatoes, the guacamole, and the sour cream sauce with some parsley and some onions, uh, green onions. Let's see how this tastes here. For me personally, it's a fair bit nutty. You know, um, for people that are new into this diet that need some more sustenance and more calories, this is probably a good thing. I'd probably like, you know, maybe put a bit net, less nut nuts in there, nut pate, and I'd probably load up on more vegetables. But overall, it tastes really good. Now we're gonna go ahead and try the fajitas. Uh, 
if I'm look, looking through this, just digging through this, look at this. All I'm seeing is like a lot of marinated vegetables and actually, I don't even know if I see any of kind of that, that nut stuff in there. So that's actually really good. This is exactly what I wanted. Just more vegetables, man, less nuts. Chop some of this stuff up. Let's get a nice, uh, probably better if you make this into a salad. She said she could do that instead of just like on some, on some lettuce, kind of difficult to eat this way. But yeah, we got a shredded carrots in here, uh, some more onions, mushrooms, all in some kind of like, uh, I don't know, barbecue or something sauce. Oh, some parsley. Oh, peppers. Hmm. That's pretty good. I like the taco style fajita seasoning on there. It's pretty plain. I think this, oh, all right. I was like, this is this would be a lot better if I had a little bit of guacamole or some of the sour cream sauce on there. Which you put in a glopper uh, on there, I would have probably spread it evenly and thinly over the whole thing. Then it would have been perfect. So maybe the next bite, I'll take a little bit of that and eat it. I think this one is probably the favorite one I've had so far. All right, last thing we're gonna try is this raw pizza here. Doesn't really look like a pizza, looks like a salad mostly. We'll pick this up off, off the uh, little tin for you there, and uh, we'll show you guys this. All right, so look at this. This is on a piece of uh, dehydrated cracker here. It's holding pretty good, although it's quite moist because the salad on top looks like we got... Uh, oh, yeah, let's show you guys this. Looks like we got like uh, cashew cream uh, cheese with uh, the marinara sauce, which is different than the other recipes we got with uh, some spinach some radishes with some uh, seasoning on top, some onions, some peppers, uh, see olive on there. Yeah, I mean, this is lots of veggies. Let's go ahead and take a bite, let you know what I think. It's good. I think this one for a pizza has too many veggies on the top for me. I'd rather have like a, a salad with more veggies. But this is good, you know, I think people need to eat more veggies and less dehydrated processed nuts and things like that. Overall, I'm actually happy with it. I think what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and polish off all this food. We'll come back at you at the end with uh, my uh, update review and my thoughts on all the food here at Renee's Vegan Living Food Truck. So we just got finished with all the food that you guys saw we bought. It's gone now. It's in here, in there, <laughs> and in uh, Lauren's parents' stomachs. <laughs> so now we're gonna go ahead and share with you guys the review of the place. Um, I'll go first. So let's see. Uh, the thing I liked the most was this one right here. It's now empty. It was the fajitas. The challenge I had with the fajitas, if you guys see like this cool paper stuff, it looked really cool when it came, but then it was like so liquidy, like this paper started melting and I likely started eating some of the paper that was in the bottom. So maybe it'd be better if it didn't come with the paper. And my other, other comment is they use a styrofoam, and as much as uh, mealworms could eat styrofoam, unfortunately most other creatures on Earth can't, and it's gonna take a long time in the landfill to degrade. So it'd be better to use some um, environmentally uh, compostable plastics, or even just like, uh, like paper um, or cardboard style containers for the to-go, which would be really nice for an environmental standpoint. Now getting back to the food, how did the food taste? Well, my food taste kind of went along with what I originally said in the beginning of this video after trying in detail more of the different uh, recipes. I'll definitely say that I like the fajitas was uh, my favorite by far. Uh, you know, it had the least amount of like nut pate stuff in there, lots of vegetables. Number two, I like the pizza, which was pretty good, but I, it had too much like spinach for me. But it was pretty good otherwise. And then three, I'd say I like the uh, the tacos. And then finally, I like the nachos. At least it has some brags and uh, a little bit salty. So Lauren, what did you think of the food there at Renee's food truck? I loved it. I thought it was excellent. Um, yeah, my favorite one personally for me was actually the taco. I love the taco. Um, so I ate most of that. And then I like the fajitas too. And I just had little tastes of the pizza and the nachos, which were both 
great uh, and so I'm glad that she's in town and in Katie and that we can come here again so it was good all right cool hun yeah so I guess with that uh, what I want to do next is actually get Lauren's mom in on the episode and uh, let her share what she thought about the food since so she also had a whole bunch so now I'm here with Lauren's mom, Nancy, and it's obvious where Lauren gets her good looks from, her mom. <laughs> <laughs> and so Nancy also had the food today. And Nancy, what were your thoughts on the food today? Well, it helps because I was really hungry when I got home. And to my surprise, John and Lauren came back with this delicious varieties of food. That I, and I, I had the nachos, and it was awesome. They were, it was really delicious, and I was so thrilled to hear that they actually there's actually something like that in this area. So I really enjoyed it. And I had a, I sampled everything. And what did you think of everything else? It was wonderful. My favorite was the nachos. Oh wow! All right, cool. <laughs> all right, so uh, with that, it seemed like all of us we pretty much enjoyed the different items. Some of us like certain ones more than others. And uh, I think with that, we're going to go ahead and rate this restaurant a scale of zero to five apples. And each one of us will give a rating. Oh. So I think my rating is going to be uh, four out of five apples. I'm a really tough reviewer. And, you know, I think as much as this place is wonderful for Katy and for the people here in Texas, and it's healthier than any other restaurant here in Katy, you know, um, you know, I think maybe, uh, maybe reducing the oil, the salt, and... Uh, making a lot more vegetable based. Still tasting good though, keeping that excellent flavor would be a good thing to do. What do you guys uh, think? Um, I'll agree with you, I'll give it a four. It's very good. Yeah, I guess I would give it four out of five apples. I mean, I really like this place um, because it's like a fun place to go where we can get like fun food. Um, yeah, but it's something I'd probably eat every once in a while. I guess I would agree with John, so four out of five. Awesome, great, yeah, so pretty much you guys live here in the uh, Houston area, you want to definitely check it out. And the last comments I want to say, I always say it at all my restaurant review videos, right? As much as many reviewers are concerned about the taste of the food and how the food tastes, and we all would agree pretty much unanimously that the food here tasted wonderful, what's even more important is how the food affects you and how you feel after you eat the food, maybe an hour later, two hours later. Or as uh, Lauren's uh, dad said, uh, how, how it t how it is after four <laughs> hours, because you definitely know if it's if it was good or bad bad food after that. And I'd even say sometimes like the next day, like if I eat dinner at a place and the next day I kind of feel sluggish and not like moving a lot and maybe you know don't have the energy I have, you know. And notice how it is for you because everybody's exact experiences are gonna be a little bit different. You know, my experiences to eating this food the next day are gonna be different than. Maybe, you know, Lauren's or Lauren's dad or, you know, somebody that normally eats at McDonald's. Somebody eats at McDonald's and eats this food the next day, they're going to probably feel like they got bound full amounts of energy because this is a step in the right direction, a good step in the right direction for them. You know, somebody that's been eating stuff out of their homegrown garden that they prepare every day, you know, and make fresh juices that are a lot more, you know, water rich and uh, nutrient dense and less uh, oil and salt may not feel quite as well. And, you know, I'm going to say that you know, this is a, definitely for me a good treat and definitely for you guys, no matter where you're at, should be a good treat and maybe you'll have that treat more often than not, depending on where you're at. So in any case, if you guys want to learn more about the food truck, be sure to click the link down below to the website. You could uh, order online. That's the way I would best uh, recommend you guys order because there's much more selection than if you show up at the truck like we did today. And uh, also be sure to like this video if you like this review format. I'll do more restaurant reviews. I like to get around and share with you guys the restaurant reviews that you guys may not be able to get to. Or, you know, even if you guys live in Houston and may not even known about this place until you're seeing my review here. So, yeah, if you like it, uh, thumbs it up. I'll do more restaurant reviews in the future. Also be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming episodes. I'm coming out about every five to seven days. You never know where I'll show up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel. And finally, be sure to check my past episodes, over 400 episodes now. I have more restaurant views on raw food restaurant views than anybody else online, but I also have a lot of information and education where I interview a lot of my friends and a lot of people that have been doing a plant-based raw fruit and vegetable dominated diet successfully so that you guys could learn the best way to do it. So once again, 
My name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're always the best. Expo 2016, and we're in the hall with all the different heirloom fruits and vegetables. They got like displays of like garlic and tomatoes and peppers and eggplants and uh, melons and squash and watermelons and 